Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkles Monkey. At the moment, I'm just doing some mining, trying to use up the last of my uh, barbarian horn that I leached. Uh, but I do have some exciting news, including the cape that I'm wearing at the moment. I got my 99 agility. I'm going to have a clip of how I got that coming up pretty soon. It's just, it feels so motivating getting that hardest skill out of the way. Um, agility might not be the hardest skill for everyone, but in my opinion, it was extremely difficult. And um, I finally got that last night, so I'm super excited about that. I love the cape so far. It's wonderful, and it's just so great. And I'm really pumped to max out. I only have 599s left. I'm going to be working hard on those. Uh, I've been doing a bit of mining today. I've been doing a bit of hunter. I will get a hunter level later today. It's not going to be in this episode, but I will include it in the next episode. So really excited for that. As I said, I only have 599s left to go. I have uh, room crafting, hunter, mining fishing and woodcutting all left. Uh, most of those are pretty easy skills. Runecrafting, as I've probably complained before in many videos, is a skill I absolutely despise training and really wish I didn't have to, but that's just one of those skills. And oh look, 95 mining. I don't know this for a fact, but I think this is the first skill I've ever gotten on live commentary in Eclipse. So yeah, I was about 15k off a of mining level after doing my warbands today, so I just decided, hey, for the video, let's come and do some mining. So, anyway, we're going to get into the clips now. Uh, really excited that I got a mining level there. And lots of more levels to come, hopefully. Um, it's just, it's going to take a long time to get this max cape, but I'm going to try my best and uh, work towards it. Getting into the clips here, I didn't realize that it had been so long since I last made a Road to Max Cape video, but I have not included the last 99 that I got before Agility in a video because it's been so long, even though it feels like I got that a long time ago. So, I did get this, I think about a week and a half ago, I got 99 smithing. It's old news, it happened a while ago, but uh, we still got to add it in there because I do have the clips saved up, and hey, we might as well. So, here I'm getting 98 smithing. Uh, I was really close to 99. Smithing was just a skill I absolutely loved training because it was so AFK. I could just watch movies or YouTube videos or do other things on the computer while smithing because you only have to really pay attention about once every four or five minutes to deposit your ores and withdraw them again and all that sort of stuff. So here I was getting 99 smithing, mending a burst pipe in the artisan's workshop, and congratulations to Monkazunki, you have just achieved 99 smithing. So that was a skill I was almost sad to see 99 just because I enjoyed it so much and I knew a lot of the other skills coming up that I still have to train aren't quite as enjoyable. I do really enjoy woodcutting, which is ironically the next clip. This is also a skill I absolutely love training. Arctic Pines are quite good XP and quite enjoyable to train at. Pretty AFK. Not as much as Ivy, but still um, it's pretty relaxing to train there. So I'm looking forward to training some woodcutting in the near future. And here this skill, I happened to luck out and get a large XP lamp from... I believe it was ports, and so I used that and I got 93 rune crafting, which is awesome because that's a skill I don't enjoy training. I'm going to be using all my lamps and uh, jack of trades and penguin points and all that sort of stuff on rune crafting from now on, from now on because uh, I already have 99 agility. And here is a hunter level. Uh, I do, I am starting to get back into Big Chinchampa every day, uh, trying my best to do that because it is really good hunter XP and a lot more enjoyable than training at Draconic Jodenkos. But I decided to go to, to Draconics for a little bit there, and I got the Hunter level. And here I am, back to Agility. I did quite a bit of Agility. Here is 98. I got from 97 to 98 um, just using up my Pendants, and it was kind of slow. I think it's about um, 100k XP per hour, and a Click Vest, obviously, if you're using your Pendants. And I am starting to do Warbands as well. I've made some videos on that in the past. And it, this was the first mining level that I got from Warbands. And then the second mining level that I got from Warbands you already saw, so you're seeing the past here, even after you've already seen the present. And this was last night. I had a couple friends come and see me get 99 agility, so I just used the rope swing here, and 99 agility has been achieved. Just feels wonderful to get that out of the way. Biggest obstacle in the my path of getting Road to Max Cape. It's finally finished. So excited about that. Thank you for the two that come, even though I don't think either of them watched my videos, but that's okay. And 99 agility there. Since we are no longer including the race to Maxcape in the Road to Maxcape episodes, I figured I really 
needed to record something else and put this in at the end of the video. So this is a very handy Maxcape calculator that I found. I'm going to leave the link to it down in the description. If I forget, someone please remind me, but I'll, I'll try my best to remember. So it hasn't quite updated with my 95 mining yet, but everything else is current and up to date. And this is just really handy for looking at how far you have left to go. Apparently, I am 92.5% to the max cape, so very, very close getting there. Uh, and 2,451, or 50, I'm basically 2,450 uh, if you take my 100 Dungeoneering in into consideration and you only need 99 for the max cape. So I am 25 levels currently off the max cape. That feels amazing. It's 25 levels does not seem like that much. Obviously, these levels are going to be very slow, and it's going to take a long time to get them. However, it's really motivating. If you are interested in looking at this calculator yourself, it works for anyone. I've looked up a few people in the past in the friends chat that asked, and I looked them up on this Maxscape and told them like how far they were off the Maxscape and all that sort of stuff. So this is really all the information that you need to know if you're working on the max cape yourself and it will tell you everything here so 92.5 percent towards the max cape um, that's really really good to know I think that means I'm very close uh, I'm not exactly sure the exact figures that I was trying to establish there but I'm at 371 million total XP uh, nearly 400 mil it would be really cool to get the 400 mil I, I'm not sure if I'm going to get 400 mil total XP if I get the max cape but I'll probably be very close and I am going to be going for the completion escape so I'll continue using this calculator even after I finish the max cape I'll have to uh, change the name of the series into the road to completion escape or something like that but unfortunately there are going to be a couple new skills coming out pretty soon I'm really not looking forward to those but it is going to happen and I'll have to grind those out to 99 as well I'll probably have everything else at 99 at that point so I'll have to focus on just one or two skills depending on what the time frame is and when those skills come out so that's really not looking good and I wish there wouldn't be any new skills but there's not really a whole lot that you can do about it so anyway if you're interested in looking at this calculator yourself it, the link will be down in the description and you just search your name and it'll tell you this exact same screen except it will show your stats instead of mine so that's all for this Road to Maxscape episode thank you for watching and hopefully I'll be able to get some more levels and get even close to the Road to Maxscape to the Maxscape soon farewell